Yo, 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 what's good, Pippin family? Today I have a crazy video for y'all that explains how to take buys to sells so that way you can catch the most risk reward going up and down the market. So I'm gonna show you guys this example on GBP CHF. I call all these trades in my free signal chat. So if anyone wants to join, I'm gonna leave the link to that in the description. Um, but let's get right into it. So as you guys can see here, we're moving in a downtrend and price pulls back up here to a nice point. It looks like it reacts off an order block within here and then just leaves this big imbalance in the market so this signifies that my order block that i'm going to sell off of is going to be somewhere up here right so at this point let's just refine this down let me show you guys exactly how i refine things down so i i know that on this order block i need the highest point to be a bullish candle because we're in a bearish order block so now i go to the 12 minute time frame i check the 15 no see these are all bearish and I go down to the five and because I'm refining a one hour, I don't want to refine it like past the five minute time frame. And you can see here we have the highest point is off of a bullish candle. So at this point, I'm able to set limits for this order, right? Now you can see here that market is just tanking. So we've left this big imbalance, which we could potentially want to fill back into on this market, right? So what I do is I wait to see if Asian session, is going to create a range and then London session to set up to take the liquidity from that range and buy all the way back up to here. So at this point, I have I'm looking for my Asian range Nikko 948D indicator to just show me the highs and low of Asian session. And as you can see here, we have our Asian session, right? And now we've played through and then price break structure. And so we had this order block that's sitting somewhere within here. And we're waiting on that break of structure right there. And as you can see, we're still waiting, but then price starts to run. Okay. Our price starts to run and we have this small pullback candle and then it pushes even higher. So at this point, I know that there's potentially going to be an order block within here. I'm not looking to take it yet though, because I need an extra confirmation. So here you can see price taps in and pushes higher. So at this point, there's another order block resting somewhere within there. And I'm going to wait for price to tap in and push higher. All right, so now waiting on price to push higher. And as you can see here, we push higher right there. So we have our order block within here. Okay, because this is the lowest point that we had pulled back into. And you can see we instantly tap into it. And we can take this all the way to our limit over here. I'm gonna go back to the one hour. And I'm just waiting for market to do its thing. And you can see it's already ran up. I'm just going to play this out. And boom, right there, it literally snipes us right into that trade, as you can see. Like our box is right here. And we get sniped right into that trade. Okay. And now at this point, we're looking for another continuation of structure towards the downside because of how bearish we've been looking. So we can look to take out this liquidity resting over here. We can go on the four hour. You can see there's a lot of equal lows over here. And for even further targets, you can just keep going back in the market on something like even a daily time frame, right? And you can see over here, we have a lot of liquidity resting there, liquidity resting here. And even if you want, you could try to swing it all the way down to here. Now, obviously, this takes more time. And I do recommend that you at least pull out partial positions at each area. But like you can see here, price taps us in and does its thing. And now we're going to use that same rule of our Asian session break. So now I'm going to look to get a scale in. As you can see, we have like this order block over here now, right? That was formed off of that. And then it looks like we broke structure, tapped in and continued, but we're going to wait for Asian session to show us, you know, something. So now I'm waiting for price to pull back into here and I can take a short off of there to try to take this all the way down as well as I could have with the initial break right here, just to show you guys that this order block right here, and this is without even refining them past the five minute you could take this all the way down. And then we want to see the behavior that our Asian range is going to have. And you can see our Asian range is like tapping into this order block. And boom, it stops out these initial orders. I mean, these orders right here. But the reason why is because it plays off of this order block right here. And you can see Price starts to tank off of here. 
and boom. Let's just go to a higher time frame so I don't, you know, waste too much time. But as you can see, like we hadn't been stopped out one time there if we were just being too early. Or if you waited for more confirmations, then you can swing all these trades. And you can watch how deep these run. Like look, another fat imbalance right there. That right there alone is like a 1 to 15. And then you have this trade, which is running about 1 to 30. And you had this 1 to 5. And like, let's just let this play out, you know, watch how much you could have caught on this trade. You can see like the market is just so bearish right here. Let me go to a higher time frame. Um, this is obviously this is this is now turning into more of a swing trade. But you could see just how big with that impulse you would have been able to catch like 40 percent. So look, so this entry right here catches you 22. You have your other entry right here, which catches already 40 percent for right there. And then you had your buy position within there, which catches you like another 5%. And let's just let this run out like on a daily because we have some daily liquidity resting down there. Oh, well, now we're at current market. But yeah, we could potentially see this trade even lower. But that's exactly how I look for buys to sell in the market. So I wait for the market to give me a good confirmation that, you know, something like a big imbalance that we need to fill into and then take that all the way back up to our sell position. So as I said, guys, if you are rocking with us, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'm going to try to produce a lot of content for y'all. And the only way you guys can learn ahead of everyone else is if you have notifications on for this channel. Make sure you join my free Telegram chat. We also do live trading every single London session. So make sure you guys are there if you guys want to learn and catch some fire trades with us. Peace out.